Hey man, wanna smoke a cigarette? No man, you know that every cigarette you smoke takes seven minutes off your life? Really? That's not worth it. I'm sure growing up you heard the phrase, winners never quit and quitters never win. Well, when it comes to smoking, that's just wrong. See, no one thinks it growing up, but our mentors were right. Smoking is a bad thing. They drilled it in our heads throughout our early years, but still, teens choose to do it. Do they just not realize the short-term costs and long-term problems that smoking is related to? I told one of my friends to stop smoking. They'd quickly laugh at a joke, as most teens would. But the reason I'm presenting this speech is so that down the road, I'm not visiting them in a hospital, or even worse, attending their funeral. See, smoking is also the single most preventable cause of death in the U.S. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, there is a reported 43.8 million smokers in the U.S. That's about one in five adults. Interestingly enough, it is also reported that there was about 443,000 deaths due to the adverse health effects of smoking, also nearly one in five deaths in the U.S. The short-term effects of smoking can be seen immediately. So, first one is going to be bad skin. Teens already deal with pimples all the time and acne, and I don't know why you're going to want to make yourself have more trouble with that when not smoking is going to be something that's going to prevent that. Um, the reason behind it is smoking uh, can slow the flow of blood vessels and prevent oxygen and nutrients from reaching the skin. And that's why smokers often peel or appear pale and unhealthy. The next uh, short-term side effect is bad breath. So, sm uh, smoking cigarettes can leave smokers with a condition called halostosis, or in other words, persistent bad breath. Obviously, no one, no one wants that. And um, the other thing, rather than just being under breath, it can leave your clothes, hair, people's furniture. You know, whenever you go up to someone, they're going to be smelling the smoke on you and. I don't know about you, but I would prefer not to be smelling smoke whenever I'm talking to someone. The next thing I'm going to talk about is cost. Um, cost of smoking, it adds up quick. The average smoker burns through about 13 to 16 cigarettes a day, which is equivalent to about 4 to 6 packs a week. Um, if you use these numbers, it's going to be about $1,500 a year. You could do a lot of different stuff. Buy a new TV, we're all college students. like. We obviously need the money, um, as well as uh, smokers have to miss work. Um, they miss about 25% more uh, sick days than non-smokers, and on top of that, um, you're going to have to pay big dry cleaning bills, you're going to have health care costs, and higher life insurance premiums, and it may go as far as some employers not even hiring you because you are a smoker. Now, all that being said, we haven't even touched upon the long-term effects, which are the serious ones. Um, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, smoking shortened male smokers' lives by 13.2 years and female smokers' lives by 14.5. Uh, smoking causes an estimated 90% of all lung cancer deaths in men and 80% of all lung cancer deaths in women. Here's a real life picture of healthy lung tissue from a non-smoker and diseased lung tissue from a smoker. It also increases your risk of heart disease by two to four times the average, stroke by two to four times the average also, and the risk of developing lung cancer is 23 times greater if you are a smoker. After giving you all those facts about um, the different statistics about cigarette smoking, I'm just going to tell you one more thing, and that is more deaths are caused each year from smoking than HIV, illegal drug use, alcohol use, motor vehicle injury, suicides, and murders combined. So just think about that next time you pick up a pack of these.